Hello, this is Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. This is part two uh, in our series of how to uh, combine two animals, how to morph them together. The previous one, we uh, put the head of the uh, panther on top of the horse. So now what we're going to do is we're going to resize it and get it all to match up and look pretty good. So what we want to do is you want to, uh, when you press the uh, mover tool or you can go to edit free transform you can allow yourself to rotate and resize the panther head what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it to match up with the uh, neck of the horse so that the mane kind of shows through so I'm going to try to get that kind of in that area right in there where it looks pretty decent so I'm not worried about what goes down here because I'm going to fix that later I'm not worried about that I'll show you how to fix that as well so I'll apply that transformation and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, part of the horse that's still sticking through there. So to do that I want to hide, you know, so I can hide the uh, my current layer and I can kind of see how much I need to go through there. So I need to go to my horse head layer, make sure that it's selected and I'm going to use a tool called the smudge tool. And what I'll be able to do is kind of pull the background up and over in there. So now what you what, what, what I've basically done is I've smudged the background and duplicated it so that it's no longer showing through. Okay, so that's fixed. Now the next part is I've got all this line. It just doesn't look real good right here. So for this, I'm going to erase, but I'm going to erase with about a 20% opacity. And what this allowed me to do is to eliminate these lines. Now I made a mistake there because I was still on my horse layer. So I'm going to undo that, control Z, and go back to my uh, panther layer. So I'm going to start to erase at the panther and it erases that little by little and where you can combine. If you notice how it's doing, it's it's actually revealing more of the horse layer because I'm just erasing out parts of it. So this is a pretty good technique to, to use to get things to match better. As you can see there, more of the horse is showing through and it allows it to blend itself together a little bit. And that looks pretty good right there. There's a little bit right there, but not too bad. So thank you for watching my uh, tutorial. If you need uh, more help, uh, you can check out my webpage and my other tutorials. Thank you very much.